Yeah, this afro is, is coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. It really doesn't take my hair that long to grow. Um, oh. Today, I feel so, 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 unmotivated. And the reason why I feel unmotivated is because, not necessarily because of the weather, and even though it looks completely gloomy outside, no sun, just a really gray sky. But that's not the reason. I feel unmotivated today is because I feel like I'm constantly working out. And then my weight is just constantly fluctuating. Like, I literally started from 206 and then went to 191. After coming back from the casino and trying to work out, it didn't. It felt I felt kind of like groggy trying to work out. And I'm gonna tell you why. The night before, because I went to the casino, I was drinking. I had a pint of Hennessy. I ate some Popeyes, then turned around and ate a, a large pint of shrimp, egg and rice, and smoked a cigarette. So, I think that had <laughs> that had a lot to do with it. Then I think I had some sugar, maybe a donut or something. I'm not 100 percent sure, but being that I was cutting these things out of my diet as far as eating greasy foods, fast food, fried foods, or even smoking, and that was the out of all that whole time, out of like two three weeks, I wasn't smoking when I when I started initially. Then out of that, you know, fourth week, I'm like, I'm smoking a cigarette. So that the next day I'm trying to get to my workout and, you know, I'm trying to push myself, but my chest was hurting. I felt very groggy. So uh, then, you know, the next day I kind of got a little better. But then that Saturday I'm trying to weigh myself. And then I had a, I'm looking at the scale of my eye and look at it. And then I look at it and it's like 198. And I'm like, I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. So for the past three days, this this past three days, because I was working out prior to that. But for the past three days, I have not been working out. Well, today would be my third day if I don't work out. I'm going to try to mentally get myself, you know, conscious enough to work out because physically I feel fine mentally emotionally I feel fine just mentally I'm just like I'm not there right now and another thing you know a lot of people are shy to talk about but I haven't been pooping so if I'm not pooping regularly then how do I expect myself to really actually lose weight and I feel because when you start to like really pay attention to yourself you really get the notion to know your body a little bit better than, you know, you do, you know, or you have before. So I'm at this point where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm starting to pay attention to myself and I'm realizing like, you know, what I need, what my body needs. So I'm like, I'm at this point now, I'm, I'm really, really cracking down with paying attention to what my body's telling me I want. So it's like, bro, chill out with certain stuff, you know. You eating this, then you turn around and eat this. The fuck is wrong with you? I'm going, I'm going to fuck you up. So my body did fuck me up a little bit. Excuse my language. Um. So yeah, I'm not pooping like I should be, and that's another reason why I feel like my weight fluctuates the way it, the way it has been, because I had this. Uh, it's actually, um, it's an aid. It helps you poop. It's, it's all organic. It's herbs. 
so it doesn't make you feel like oh you know it's going to damage or do anything to your body or harm you it's, it's naturally herb and if you need a poop assistance because you don't you're not able to go um daily like you should be um try it out um zupu <laughs> It's a great name for it, uh, Zupu. Definitely am promoting Zupu. It definitely works. Um, it definitely helps regulate you every day. Don't worry about when you're at work and be like, oh, shit, I do it, you know. But, you know, it doesn't make you want to run to the bathroom like every five minutes. It's just like it helps you have a consistency daily. So, and nine times out of 10, you know, some people poop once a day, some people poop twice a day, some people poop three times a day. It's just supposed to be regular. And in all actuality, you're supposed to poop three times a day. But I'm saying, like I say all the time, I'm a person that goes through real life shit. And if I could motivate others to realize that they're real people and they go through real life shit every day. I don't care if you're a business person. I don't care if you're a celebrity. I don't care if you're in front of the camera 24-7 all day where they're video, video you from the time you wake up. You're still a person that goes through real life shit. You still have emotions. You still have a sense of feeling you know and hiding that is not okay whether you're in front of the camera whether you're not in front of the camera whether you're behind the camera side of camera whatever the case may be be a person that goes through real shit and you know i'm just one of those people that decide to speak on it whether i'm happy and whether i'm sad whether i'm just in a meh type mood you know i speak on it i acknowledge it so therefore it's not something that you know, gets out of hand or I just like, you know, getting to one of those like kind of funks where I want to hide underneath the table. I'm just one of those people like, hey, I'm acknowledging what I'm going through right now. So let me speak on it. Maybe someone else is going through it. So maybe they understand. So me or maybe I can get them to understand what they're going through. But other than that, today is great. Today's great. Yes, the sky is like super gray, but I have a nice view. <laughs> I have a nice view. I like the view. I like where I am. Not physically per se. I do like where I am physically, but also I like where I am emotionally. I like where I am mentally. I like that I have that state where I can be alone, but not be alone. I hang out with my family once a week. And, you know, that's that's healthy for me. Knowing that if you're... Bl <laughs> I'm not even trying to be racist, but... Knowing that if you're black and you have a black family, we usually turn up a lot if we're around each other. And I'm not talking about turn up to the point where, hey, oh, you know, we, we turning up. I'm talking about turn up to the point where everybody's at like you know so <laughs> and we one of those black families that you would probably see on a soap opera or people watching love and hip-hop type family like we just want to you know even at even at funerals my family is the worst the worst the worst you got people wanting to jump in caskets. <laughs> you got the, the, the pallbearers lowering the casket down. They want to jump inside, you know. You got families. We go on functions and all of a sudden you got two relatives about to fight. You got one drunk is all hell just crying and telling everybody they love them. Is that kind of family. And then you have maybe one or two relatives that are just level-headed and they just be like see this is why I don't be around nobody then you just got that one that want to have everybody together and have a good time and it just upsets them to the max because we're we're not getting there excuse me guys I have to come back <laughs>